Beauty Reaction Channel. Love you so much. One of the best reaction channels out there. Don't you forget it. Put some respect on his name. Would you still do YouTube if you didn't get paid? Fuck no. No. They have the best Coke. Well, something can talk you. It's hard to explain. There's something inside you. Get it. There's something inside you. Something inside you. It's hard to explain. My teeth. <laughs> I have the weight of the world on my shoulders. I know, fuck. She carries the weight of the world on her shoulders. Hey guys, I have not done one of these little introductions for quite some time. It's not like uh, I didn't care. It's just that, uh, you know, people seem to have a short attention span. So I made things a little bit faster at the start. And, uh, now, I, well, with this, I just gotta to, to talk a little bit at, at the beginning of it. Um, I'm reacting to this one, which is called Coffee Bees from Chantel, and it is dated May 9th, 2022, and I'm publishing this on the evening of May 13th, 2022, so that means this thing was done, like, four days ago. And I'm happy to report that Chantel, with this screen grab that I got here I took it today 6,350 views that's terrible her views are going down and that's a good thing and I I, 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 I well I don't want to get too far ahead of myself I, I hope it it keeps sinking because she's horrible and uh, you know just because I haven't had this talk for you know you guys for quite some time doesn't mean that I wouldn't want to ask, you know, do you, before you do a, you know, a little favor for me, which is, you know, the title screen still needs to stay as fresh as it can be, so, would you please stop looking at it? Laughing for no reason, and right at the start, too. When do folks do that, or even when do creatures do that? When they're stoned on weed. Yes, I need a mocha, a proper mocha. You do, really you do. You got six projects you gotta complete by the end of the business today. The kids are driving you crazy. The husband's coming home for lunch from work today. Uh, the contractor's gonna fix part of the, the, the basement of the house. There's so much to do. You, 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 you need a mocha and you need it right now. I haven't had one today, so this is what I'm doing with myself right now. Oh, I'm sorry. The reason why you need one is you haven't had one today. And you just want one. Oh, that's why you deserve one. I'll, I'll, uh, quite honestly, I need a mocha. Oh, because you haven't had one today. You had like six the past week, and it hasn't even been 24 hours. It's just... You know, it's been maybe about 10 hours. You haven't had one yet? Oh, okay, so that's why. Great. I'm getting one and a nice water. It's a friggin' going for a drive to the long road and listening to music. I just want to listen to music right now. Great channel. The random actions of a 400-pound piece of shit. Uh, I, 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 I just friggin' want to drive right now. I just friggin' want to get this. 
I just want to freaking listen to music. I just want to listen to music right now. Well, good for you, you toddler. You dang lazy scamming toddler. Well, you, you just want to drive around? You just want to drive around and listen to music right now? Why don't you go to the OnlyFans where you keep promising paid customers you're going to make content and you never do it? You know, you know, you know what that means when you lie to people to get their money? You're a scammer. The best thing about getting coffee at 8 at night? Now the turd that never works. Not even to just bend over short bare ass on OnlyFans for $10 a month. is going to lecture everyone else about how to get coffee at the best time. Go ahead. Do it. Do it. Do it. Tell us. Nobody's here. <laughs> Suckers. Yes, creature. The reason why all them people are not getting coffee at past 8 p.m. is because they all got it in the morning to get a boost because they have to work for a living. They actually contribute something to society. And they can't be getting no coffee now because now they won't be able to get any sleep so they can go and continue to produce something for society and be productive and a decent person. And there's you driving around there at night Getting coffee and considering everybody else who works for a living to be suckers. Well, you can't even show your bare ass on time for $10 a month for OnlyFans. You're a damn scammer. Look at stupid suckers getting your coffee at 8 in the morning. You need to get it at 8 at night. It is so disappointing that this creature got its channel back. You know, maybe a lot of the others are over it. Because, well, they just go, they, they're glad, right? I mean, they just go back to pretending that she's got some sort of an on-again, off-again relationship with Natter El Shami, and they're just business partners. That's all it is. You know, there's no court date. There's no legal paperwork. There's no protection orders. You know, there's nothing of that going on. It's just a nobody telling lies and getting free money. So, the mother channels, they go back to doing what they're doing. It would have been fantastic if she would have been struggling on... Patreon and OnlyFans where she belonged. And here she is sneering and laughing at people who work for a living and actually contribute something good. Hi, thanks for choosing Starbucks. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? Okay, thank you. What can I get you for you today? Um, can I get a venti iced mocha with no whipped cream and extra ice? Yeah, of course. And, um, Sorry, I just need to also add three three hazelnut pumps. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and just, um, I'll get a venti ice water and that'll be everything, please. All right, sounds good. Then you Got some nice crease grease there, eh? Uh, how about you uh, put it all over the, the, the bank and uh, the ATM thing that they're going to give you when you go pay? You know, put, put it on that. Trouble is 718. We'll have that first one now. Thank you. Thank you. Good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Yeah. Oh, I like your sweater with the cats. That's Thanks. So cute. <laughs> I love cats. No, you do not, Chantel. And in addition to that, you want your own cat's dad. Can you tell? Just look at that thing. It allows BBJ to be abused by Pete's. And then, after the reaction community has complained about it, her answer is to wear cats on her clothing and uh, when some person that she's talking to getting a coffee uh, mentions it, it's like, oh yeah, obviously I love cats so much because I'm wearing them. She's just doing damage control. She hates those two cats and she does want them dead. I, I like cats dog. I'm Are you? Yeah? yeah. Although Me I too. Allergic, oh no. Stuff. I'm a little allergic. I think I've become immune because I always have cats. Oh, that's what I have to do. <laughs> Exposure okay. therapy. Yeah. <laughs> I know there's also that thing where you can go and like, I don't even know what it is, but it's like you make yourself immune to whatever. Really? I think 
Okay. I don't think it can be for like severe allergies. Like I think yeah, like peanuts and that, yeah. Is this not sad how unfair life can be sometimes? There is that thing, Chantel, which only ever gets high on marijuana and other things and drools and babbles in front of a camera to get $10,000 a month from idiots. And she's talking with somebody who has a real job, and it's like, Oh, okay, can you get over your allergies to cats? Yes, you can simply force yourself to do it. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, well, I have to go get back to the townhouse and do drugs and allow my idiot uh, roommate to abuse a cat. Uh, bye then. Okay, and I'll get back to my 50 cents above minimum wage job, which I'll go home with my back hurting, my feet killing me too. It's so much <laughs> if it's like deadly, then yeah. yeah but if yeah. you just get like little reactions, it might be yeah. different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I think when I move out, I might get a cat and just suffer with it. But my mom is also allergic to cats, so oh, it's like, okay, you know, well. we never have any pets in the house. Oh, yeah. no, yeah. That sucks, though. If you love animals, but you can't, yeah. yeah. I know. Though? I have two cats, oh, yeah. Really? What are their names? BBJ and Sam. Aw. <laughs> <laughs> One's 19 and one is 5. Oh. I'll be right back. One's skinny, one's fat. Yeah. <laughs> Which one's skinny? One's fat one. BBJ's skinny and Sam is fat ass. <laughs> is Sam the older one? Sam is young. Oh, okay. Yeah. Five year old. Yeah. You just fat. Mm-hmm. Oh, fat cats are so cute though. It makes he is chubby and cute. Yeah. I know. That's why I would say chubby things are cute. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know. So I mean, have you ever had any other type of pets or anything? Yeah, always cats. Always cats. Yeah, I've had BBJ for like 19 years now. Yeah. First thing when I moved out, I'm like, I need a cat. Ugh. You smell like a pile of shit. Yeah. 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 There's like nobody here. I love it. I know. It's like, I mean, knock on wood, it's been like pretty quiet today. Like, you know, people like come and go, but it hasn't. I mean, I only got here at two. Oh, like, okay. Usually, like, we have, like, a huge lineup. I know. That's what I mean, like, over here. Yeah, right? Like, it goes all the way up there. And I'm like, sometimes I don't know how people still get in the line. I'm like, you know this is going to be half hour, I know. Like, I know. Like, it like, sucks. Got, like, nothing to do, so. Yeah. Well, and, you, like, you get addicted to coffee. You just don't want to, like, you're like, I'll wait. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys have the best ice water. It's, like, legit I'm, ice water. McDonald's is also really good, too. Oh, they give free ice water? Yeah, you oh. just, I do it all the time for friends. I'm like, can I just get an ice water? And they're like, sure. No way. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I don't know where else. Like, just gives free water. Like, yeah. I feel like any place might. But I know some places are like, they charge you for like a water bottle. Exactly. Get... That's what I mean. Like, it's usually, usually I get that. Like, you have to buy a bottle yeah. of water. Like. Yeah. Whatever. So stupid. Yeah, but our, our water's pretty good. <laughs> it is really but, good. Like, McDonald's? <laughs> I feel like McDonald's a little bit better. Right? Really? Like, something where it's just like so crisp. Oh, like, really? In a good way, yeah. Like, <laughs> it's just so refreshing. Refreshing. They have the best Coke, I find, like Coca Cola. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so good. Like Fountain Coke, there's yeah, nothing and like Sprite it. Sprite is like something else. Yeah, that's what I hear too. Sprite is yeah. like crisp Sprite. <laughs> Woo <-hoo>, yay! <laughs> Thank I you. Like to go home and relax. Oh, I will be. <laughs> Bye, you too. When the moon hits your eye like a big beaver pie, that's a more I seen someone join here. And you guys think I'm not friendly. Has has there ever been a Starbucks person who hasn't liked me? Name one. How about all of them, you degenerate? There is no law against me putting a package together and mailing it old school to that Starbucks you go to with your picture and your damn channel and this channel too. Say this is the thing that uh, is on marijuana all the time and always using an automobile and allows her piece of garbage roommate to abuse cats. And also the footage there of you smacking BBJ against the dashboard like sandwich. And then when you're heading on to the vet, you smack her against the car itself too. How's that? How about all of them? You think you own everything? You don't. How do we do that? That might be a project to try. Excuse me! Mandy Cuthill, welcome to Reparation Ranch! I beat!
Does that sound like something which is not high on marijuana? Or does it sound like something that is high on marijuana, on weed, on THC, on lemon Z? Then she gets confronted on it and she doesn't deny it. Butthead. Come to butthead. Kiwi Farms has enough information for a dox. Shut the fuck up. Kiwi Farms, quit doxing my girlfriends and my boyfriends. You fucking dumbass. Pokemon, you smoked THC only about three hours ago. What? Give me a break. I'm as sober as they come right now. That's what matters. Hi, Brock. Hello, agree to disagree. Rowing well, we for two months. Hi. Ready, set, please. Coffee is ten bucks. They're literally paid to like you. I don't care if it's fake. It's a good fake. Mmm. Chocolatey mocha with hazelnut stuff. Why is there a dome on my drink? Anyways, people like me, I told you. It goes without saying. Now, if that was true, then you would not have to restrict your chat to members only, paying at least $5 just for the so-called privilege of being able to attend and make a comment here and there. I got a few folks who don't like me either. However, I don't have to restrict my live chats to just members only. Everybody can come in. I get a troll or two. Heck, your beezers are made up of about 60% trolls. Alright, I'm going to put music on so it's going to be copyright striked. The correct English is, it will receive a copyright strike. Or... That will get it struck with copyright after having done so. You fake imitation English major. Stupid loser stoner idiot. for a walk really Chantel and for how many years have you been telling us oh as soon as the weather gets good you're gonna get the new Chantel I'm gonna be going for so many walks it's not even gonna be funny well I guess if you actually stuck to that and we're going on a, a long walk every couple of days I mean what's your schedule uh, roll out of bed order fast food smoke drugs um, Order some more food, maybe do some edibles, order some more food, then go back to bed. Uh, I think you could fit in a walk every two days, maybe. Okay, let's say every couple of days, all right? Um, then I guess we could see some changes. Then again, you, well, like, you know, you just said you're going for a walk. Like, somehow, I just don't believe it. Maybe you should just go for a drive instead, right? Never mind the walk. Go for a drive. That's almost as good. Really? I'm going for a drive on the long road. Ooh, Krista, you needed your AC on, pal. Don't y'all just love it when she pretends to care about her fucking beezers? If they were not paying her, she would never give them the time of day. And if they ever stop paying her, they become invisible to this creature. It, it, it just really is something else, you know. Like, like oh, well, let me tell you, buddy. I need that thing. I gotta get that there. You see on. Yeah, I really care about, about that. You gotta get that thing on there. Are oh, we not paying me? Who? What? Don't call the cops on me! It is all a joke to her. A silly high school game to gain attention. Of course, it is disappointing when full grown adults pay attention to it. What I react to here is a real Chantel. I gave up on her fake fight with Natter 
a while back, and I did that publicly, so I'm on record with that. And she has to go live to make money, and she doesn't like to do planning or work. So I react to the real Chantel, which is what we got right here. She's got to turn the camera on and make something to get money. So there she is. Hey, don't call the police on me! And the next thing she's doing, she's laughing at it. You ever hear of Hamlet, a play within a play? Like, before it was her saying that, 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 that there, there's going to be uh, court dates, and, 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 and there, there are peace bonds between them, and of course, it's, it, it's not real. That was just a bunch of exciting bullshit to make her channel hot and get lots of money. And now she's uh, getting, quote, caught, close quote, with Natter. Guess what? That's part of the fake drama, too. She's not, like, you know, getting caught in it and it's a surprise. And, oh, we caught you. Oh, you need to stay away from that. They are business partners in an ongoing fraud of creating this fake narrative for clicks and money. So, right where she says, uh, uh, don't call the police on me. And, and, and she's mocking their expense and work. She starts to laugh at it. Before the lasagna, which you filmed, oh my... So what? I'm not stoned. So? Kiss my butt. Okay, let's go for a ride on the long road. What do you think? We just found out we don't have A, B, A, C. We will get one next week. What does AB mean? Yeah, this is the best mocha. It's so chocolatey. Remember someone's like, it looks super chocolatey? Go down the short road? Listen to the way she says no. She doesn't like this. No! It is like a, a toddler's rage. It, it just a simple two-letter word. I just wanted to stop before she says it so you appreciate it. Because I thought it would have uh, more weight if I spoke to it before it happened rather than after. Here we go. No! Uh... What a toddler! It is so disappointing that anyone would take her seriously when she starts talking about marriage. Chantel is just an overgrown brat with a lion mouth. Now watch what I mean. She's about to say, I'm sleeping at home tonight, Brooke. And she puts on a little bad acting performance to go with it. Her getting caught with Natter is part of this fake drama. It's moved away from, oh, we're going to court, he's been charged. That's all gone. Now it's moving to, oh, uh, you lied to us, uh, you're still in love with them. They're not in love, they're not a couple, they're not getting together and doing anything. They, they, they just keep this ongoing lie because it makes the channel profitable, all right? She's overdoing it. This is a little bad acting performance she's going to put on right here. I'm sleeping at home tonight, Brooke. I have some errands to do right now. That is not acting. That is the real Chantel. And the reason why she's always making that rat face is because she's filled with evil. She enjoys misleading people and taking their money. She enjoys hurting them. She hates her beezers. That's what she really is. And let me tell you, there ain't no man that wants that. Her personality is horrible, okay? She, she ain't with any real man. Her and Natter, I said it a long time ago, that's just a business relationship. Now her pretending to get caught all the time, that's part of the fake drama. It moved from court to this. Ain't no r real man want that. Alright. I am not under the influence of anything. Later on, she will be laughing hysterically for no reason. It is just too bad. She's probably not ever going to get caught like this, okay? That's just the way things are. You know, evil people seem to do real well in the world. And, uh, anyway, at least we can react to it here. Yeah, she's fucking high. For real. Except for... Uh, 
your annoying butt cheeks. I'm not going to the outhouse. You and your wildest dreams. This is her silly little high school girl formula. It's like before, she would say, Oh, I, 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 I've been told I have to go to the diabetes clinic, and I, and I have to be put on a strict diabetes diet. And then people say, Oh, so she got diabetes. And she turns around and says, I never said I had diabetes. You crazy people need to stop telling lies about me. That is what you need to do. And so, yeah, she hangs around that outhouse. She records herself. She publishes it. Then when people are like, oh, you go to the outhouse, why would I do that? Redan Yamasli needs a ride somewhere? You think I'm going to Montreal right now? Why doesn't Pete's come with you anymore? The question was, why doesn't Pete's come along with you anymore? Which means, like, when she's doing this stuff, like, you know, uh, several times a month, he ain't there. So she, she evades the question and pretends like, you know, it, it's not happening. And it says, oh, actually, he's in bed. Well, that, that doesn't answer how come he, he doesn't, you know, hang around with you uh, uh, on the car uh, drives anymore. Anyway, it's not a huge thing. It's just, uh, there she is on live internet television. She gets uh, hit with that, and she does a pretty poor job of, of, of lying through it. Um, let's get going. Because, uh, 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 he's still sleeping, actually. Or he was still in bed. <clears throat> Lachine Bees. Puka Mom, this is the last time I'm looking at my chat before I start driving responsibly. So you didn't smoke about three hours ago. I don't know exactly how long ago it was. You're allowed to, to smoke a joint an hour. I'm just kidding. This here is more high school stuff. Telling lies and, and baiting her audience uh, just to keep the whole thing going, to keep some interest and attention on her channel. For and, and for adults that are not idiots, this this is, is so old hat. It's like, oh wow, marijuana. Oh, did you have some marijuana? And like, I, I'll admit, she's not like absolutely stoned and you know, like driving all over the place. The thing is, she is also absolutely high. She can operate the motor vehicle. She's not going to draw any attention to herself from the police. Yet she she's shown she has no concern for other drivers by driving while under the influence of it. Actually, I, there is like no like when the cops stopped me that one time. It's like there's no real way for like there's no law like you can't drive stoned. So like I'm not stoned at all. She is stoned. She is. Not stoned enough that she can't operate the automobile, yet she is stoned and she'll start laughing hysterically and uncontrollably a little bit later while she's uh, operating the car. And uh, anyway, this, this is just this, this content sh shouldn't be on YouTube. So, yeah, I think a few hours is good enough. What do you want me to do? Stay home 24 hours? Is that like the law? There's like no law. How about you lay off the marijuana use all the time if you're going to be using the automobile all the time? You dangerous piece of shit. Well, I didn't even smoke a whole joint. Chantel, you are so cool. You're the coolest girl at school. Smoking joints. I didn't even smoke a whole joint, man. Fucking right, eh? Yeah, I had a joint. Then the other day I had a joint. I didn't even smoke the whole joint. What a fucking child you are. So. Yes. I need to get some windshield fluid. It's low. Thanks for telling us, you boring turd. I need to get some uh, windshield fl uh, fluid. It's low. That is all she has to offer if she doesn't have a fake ongoing fight with Natter. It's just eat, 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 get high, and... Oh, uh, hey everybody, uh, I need to go b buy some uh, stuff for the car here. Wow, that's amazing. I'm so invested by that. That's all she has. Because she doesn't want to do proper mukbangs anymore, and she scared that audience away a long time ago. So, I'm not looking at the chat right now. I just wanted to listen to music and get out and like... 
go for a drive. So I thought that you would like to hear me lament on love songs. What do you think about that? Do you want to hear some of my favorite love songs? No, and if you do start trying to ruin them songs by singing, I'm going to exercise my option to mute the creature. I can sing them for you. And then I was thinking of getting Paneer later. <laughs> Notice how she laughs immediately after she says it, except she's not supposed to say it, and oh, she couldn't control herself, and she did. And I think I'm going to get Paneer later. <laughs> Oh, it's it just like, oh, now she's, now she's, it's just high school stuff. It's kid stuff. And then everybody, back when she was getting that sandwich, oh, a nashi, another nashi. You have too many nashies. Oh, I'm addicted to paneer. That is all she has. Because she doesn't do the work of the mukbangs anymore. So you want to walk away from the mukbangs? What have you got? A fake fight with Natter. That's it. Because honestly, here's the thing. I didn't like that lasagna at all. It tasted like... Canned great value, canned great value sauce. People who do way too much weed are no good for making proper conversation. That's, that's all it tasted like. I cannot eat canned spaghetti sauce anymore. It tastes like the tin. You know, like that tinny tin tin flavor? <laughs> Not by the hair on my tinny tin tin. Notice how she laughed when she was babbling there saying tinny tin tin. It is not funny. When people are high, they, 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 they come up with their own babble that is not entertaining to others. And they laugh at it because they are high. I don't like that at all, so... <clears throat> I think what I'll do... I need to clean out my car really bad, actually. It's really dirty. So she says, I need to clean up my car. It's getting dirty. <sighs> what an amazing channel, you lump of crap. It always gets messy. Mm. That is her real personality. I want to remind you. The Natter thing was all fake and it continues to be fake. And now she's talking about she's meeting some guy who's in his 50s. He's got uh, kids, his own car and money. No. It's more lies. No man wants that. So, I'm going to go for a drive. Then we can maybe bees later. What time is it? 7.40? Right there, she's thinking to herself, I have to be on live for some time, every day. Have I done enough? Did I do enough yesterday? Did I make enough money? How much more of this do I have to do? Yeah... So thanks for beezing today. That is her really saying to herself, Thanks, idiots. I made money today because of your stupidity. That was a very nice Starbucks worker. I won't say her name, but I liked her name, too. Unique name. People are friendly. I like friendly people. That is stoner talk from somebody who is high while saying what she is saying. Ah, oh, people are friendly. I like friendly people. 38 years of age, folks. What a loser. I'm gonna try to be friendly like them. I'm gonna try to be friendly like everybody. I usually am. No man wants this. No man is gonna have this, whether he's fat or skinny. No man. No man is gonna have that. No man. No way. No how. No man wants that. No man wants that. When I worked with people, actually at my job, I was very friendly a lot of the time. Until I moved to that new job and then I was a bitch, but... I hated everybody there. 
And I still do, if you're watching. Drink like a toddler, drink like a toddler, drink, 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 drink like a toddler. I want you to know that I hated working for you. Really, none of those people she worked with at the telemarketing barn remember her or her name. She's completely forgotten. The place isn't even there anymore. And there's Chantel still squawking at them. With them not paying attention to her saying, I hate you. I hate you all. That's the real Chantel. And she, this is just something that, that like a pathetic loser should be babbling to themselves in private. And she leaves the camera on for it. Because she's high. Because she's fucking high. Again, in operating a motor vehicle. Yes, she is. And I wish nothing but hotel room with jizzy sheets for you. Notice how she is always, if you give her some time to be in front of the camera and just talking, saying disgusting things and pleasing herself with them. That is why I don't, I don't, I don't get it. That she's got, like, any significant audience at all that believes her garbage. You know, there's all this stuff with Natter and Jen. She, oh, they had a three-way and she goes down on Dee Dee. And that's all just disgusting stuff coming from a person with a dirty imagination that likes to tell dirty stories. That's all they are. They're not real. And, um, uh, I missed it earlier where she says, I hated working for you. That's all she wants is not to have a boss. She's not miserable. She's no, reveling in her own filth. The doctor that I had to admin for and book hotel rooms and stuff for. Yeah, I hope your hotel room has dirty poop in the toilet when you go book it. <laughs> Notice how delighted she is by what she's just uttered. Like, I know I haven't been too active for the last three weeks. I've been busy with other things, okay? This is not my chief source of income. I don't like Chantel and what she do. She's exploiting pathetic broken people for money and uh what she does on youtube very often breaks the terms of service and she's endangering everybody by driving while high right there yet the things that that, that, I, that i've mentioned for a while back now is that she's always talking about excrement always she doesn't go for anything more than a couple of videos and she will always return to excrement here she is from may 5th if you've been expelling some gas for half the day and you're not sure if it's a fart or a shark, simply wipe every time you go to the bathroom. Even if you just pee. Problem solved. This thing is a dirty pervert. And you can say whatever you want. Like, oh, she's miserable, really. No, no, she, she revels in her own filth. She's exactly where she wants to be. She is very pleased and happy with what she's got. Because as I've said over and over, and she just proved again, the biggest thing that she wants is not to have a boss. She doesn't respect anybody. She doesn't want to work with anybody. She doesn't want to please anybody. She just sits there, reveling in her own filth, telling filthy stories. She's just a disgusting pervert piece of rubbish. <laughs> yeah. And I hope your, your quinoa salad you ate every day has more an ant inside of it when you go to eat it tomorrow for lunch. She has the mind of a 12 year old and on her best day 14 when she adds explicit details to stories that's her desperate way of trying to make it sound adult and it, it's just so pathetic when real adults believe even a piece of this stuff. It's just, just, just a, a filthy dirty brat with a channel. Uh, I hope that the next date you go on, you get uncontrollable diarrhea. If she does not have the imaginary fighting relationship with Natter, then all we have is a dirty pig telling filthy stories about poop and getting high. That is it. That's how you made me feel. <clears throat> this person made me feel so incompetent, like, would make me type up a letter and then be like, I don't like how this is done. And then I would have my, like, English major business administration 
super expert friend write a letter and it was still not good enough because they thought it was from me. No, it was because you didn't adequately communicate what was needed in the letter to your friend. So even though the letter was technically perfect, it was still missing what it needed to communicate to the client. That was it. It's you. It's on you. Idiot. You know what? I probably could have written like the crap. I probably could have taken a Crayola crayon and red crayon and scribbled on a piece of paper. And I would have said it was from the other secretary and they would have been like, oh, how lovely. Do you see how she is unemployable? away from this channel or showing her bare ass for $10 a month. Oh, I'm sorry. Not even showing your bare ass for $10 a month on OnlyFans because you promised to show your bare ass on OnlyFans for $10 a month. You don't actually do it. And without that, you are unemployable. She had like a little bit of adult working and she doesn't want any. She's right where she wants to be with this lucky gig of free money and no work. That's how, that's exactly. I'm telling you now. Crying out loud. I should have just had paneer for supper. There she goes, getting us all triggered with the paneer. The paneer is the new Nashi. Forty-seven ten is exactly what my paneer costs. And no, instead I bought stuff for lasagna. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Pete's will like it. <laughs> I did something not selfish today. I'm just joking. There's something about the paneer. I don't know what it is. It's so good. Maybe they put something in it to make it addictive. That is right, Chantel. The Indian restaurants that make the paneer are putting an addictive chemical in it, so you get addicted to it. Shut the fuck up and get out of here. I don't know. Just listen to the creature. I don't know. How about it tastes good and you're just deciding to let yourself go with it? With no self-control at all. And, and listen to her when she carries on with the addiction thing again. All the same shit over and over again with this thing. It's not even my favorite food. Like, that's the weird thing. It's like, I don't know what it is about certain things that I get more addicted to. Remember a while back when Chantel was always giving bogus health advice? And I and I put up a little caption underneath her. I said, Lo, look, it is Dr. Chantel, leading expert on diet, health, and nutrition, and exercise. And uh, back then, I did a reaction to it. She, she was sitting there and saying, fast food is highly addictive. I was like, get the fuck out of here. I remember what I said back then. I said, when's the last time somebody lost their house and everything to Taco Bell? Like a gambler loses his whole house and everything to a casino or something like that. When, when did you ever see somebody on Skid Row saying, Hey man, you got like two dollars so I can go get a taco? Does not happen. Do than other things? Like more obsessive about? Just because you like something doesn't mean that you're addicted to it or obsessed with it. Grow the fuck up, you idiotic brat. Like, <clears throat> at one point for the longest time, my obsession was pizza pizza with garlic, creamy garlic dip. That's why I had all those pizza boxes. And then when I was with Pete's, and I remember him looking at me one day when I was with Pete's and we were in bed like a long time ago, like 2005. And he's like, what's it with you and pizza? What great conversation stoners make. Get back to your shithole and go back to your weed, please. <clears throat> oh, okay. I'm gonna pull over.
over up here and put on my music. What's it with you and pizza? And now, instead of the pizza, it's paneer. And now, instead of the pizza from Pizza Pizza, it is paneer! What an interesting tub of shit you are, Chantel. Such great entertainment. Paneer obsession. Just look at her. She's got nothing to bring. Back when Burger King had that sandwich on, it's like Nashies, Nashies. I'm addicted to Nashies. I'm I'm obsessed with Nashies, Nashies, Nashies. Just sitting there, stoned while driving. Give us something. Paneer obsession. I'm obsessed. Paneer. I'm addicted. Paneer obsession. is not why you are laughing. It is your excuse for why you're laughing, which is really that you're high. You make me laugh about it. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> this is really chocolatey. I ask yourself, if you were drinking something with chocolate in it and shooting video of yourself while doing it, and you said, hey, this chocolate drink is very chocolatey. Do you think that Chantel would hang around and watch you do it? No. Would she pay you to do it? Double no, no. We don't think it's sis. We don't know shit. I didn't tell RSN anything that I was with him. I never did. Lambo! What in tarnation? It's friggin' sunny. The sun's going down. I want to put music on and sing in bees. And for the long road. Life is beautiful. Enjoy it to the fullest. Thank you for the wisdom of your beezers. Just sit around and listen to random horseshit quotes going through your stupid chat. I'm surprised that you haven't uh, recited one. Oh, Chantel, you deserve better. Oh. We love that for you. Okay, so there is only so much that even I can do with footage this bad and boring. So um, she's going to start driving and she's going to start uh, singing along to some famous songs. And uh, the first one she does is Crying by... The late, great Roy Orbison. And, uh, of course, I'm going to mute the creature while she does so. Goodbye. Hold on. I gotta put my music on. I was all right. The idea of Chantel singing along with Roy Orbison is disgusting, to say the least. Especially when Canadian Katie Lang did a great duet with Roy on Crying years ago. So, you know, I just want to put this picture up for a moment and just, you know, show some respect uh, to uh, Roy Arbison for all the wonderful music he brought us and uh, just to have a thought for him. 
and uh, that is it. And um, you know, I'll leave that up a little bit longer. Yeah. Okay. And now back to Chantel. And like, Chantel is horrible, so she has no right to the good things. You know, the good people bring us. I'll, j I'll just push forward this footage. For a I think I have better breast support than before. <sighs> I do not know what this song is. However, whatever it is, if she's getting off some classic list, then it, it's got to be good. And, you know, I guess I could do the work and dig up the lyrics and find out how to, you know, it just, it's got to be something good. And you know what? She doesn't deserve to sing over it. So, same thing as before. I'm just going to plow through it. Is that not funny? Because that is the way Chantel really looks. And this is how her fans see her. Those Beezers need a lot of help. And they need it fast. <laughs> yeah, I guess I need to clean tonight, too. You ready, B? No. That was not sped up. She really did just jerk around all over the place like that. I'm gonna go play it again, and my assessment is she's high on something. Hi! Do you guys ever just like listening to me, Zock? That is stoner talk. Just out of the blue, she says, Do you guys just ever listen to music? And, and then she forgets she said it, and she never wanted to hear what you had to say in reply anyway. And it's going to get worse, too. She's totally high, in my opinion. See, I washed my face really well today, and I still can't get all the mascara stuff off. Great content. I washed my face today. She has nothing to bring except getting high and telling lies. Hey, that rhyme is pretty good. I'm glad I came up with that one. <clears throat> that song is called Night Call by Kavinsky. K-A-V-I-N-S-K-Y. Encore! Encore! Oh, yeah! There's something inside you. It's hard to explain. When people way too easily amuse themselves over stupid shit, that means that they're high. And in my opinion, this thing is. What do you, what do you think of the crying song? Can I hit those crescendo notes? A lash shampoo brush? I'm in the middle of Ottawa. Mm. I just wanted to mostly get a mocha and go for a, a drive, really, guys, honestly. And honestly, your channel is worthless. It used to be a halfway entertaining mukbang channel. And then you gave up on that to turn into a druggy channel. And then you made up this fake relationship with Natter to make it spicy and hot. And uh, now your views are going down. I don't know. You, you just... Now you're pretending that you're going to marry Nada? I don't know. I mean, only the stupidest of the super stupid are left in her audience now. <coughs> what? What is wrong with people? 
this thing never should have gotten its channel back. And it did. And this is what it brings. What we have here essentially is an evil, lazy, stupid person sitting in a chair, high on weed, looking at itself in a mirror and amusing itself. And, and it, with, with, with no interest in, in the idiots that are sitting there watching. And, and in so doing, creating, you know, like eight or 10,000 views for, for, for this piece of garbage. And the viewership is going down. That's good. It should keep going down. However, I've been wrong before. I mean, the viewership could just come right back up again. And, you know, I, I can just hope that the viewership for this garbage is going to go down and keep going down. And then it's going to be like a has-been channel. Like, what is wrong with people? They sit around there and they watch this. I, I'm going through this because this thing is evil. That's why I react to it. I do not have a big channel. I put a lot of work into my videos. And, and, and I, I react to this thing because it's evil. And, and I'm hoping that the viewership's going to go down. I'm hoping that people are going to get over this thing. She should have went to Patreon and struggled. And, and, and struggled on OnlyFans where she belongs. Everything would have been perfect. I mean, she had more than a long enough ride. She never appreciated it. She told YouTube to go F off. And they, they, they booted her and they bring her back. And this is what she brings. And, and, and she, she, she's, she's going to say, My teeth. And then she's going to make the same face again. My teeth. Do you like the movie Drive with Ryan Gosling? Yes, that's where the song's from! There is nothing to the Chantel channel. She just gets high, sits there, and either drools in front of the phone, or absentmindedly takes random pieces from the Beezers. Oh, yeah, uh, I deserve better. Thanks, plain cheeseburgers. Oh, yeah, that was a great movie. Uh, uh. Um, get a payday loan. Let's go to cash money. Hi, Kaylee. Do you like the movie Drive? Yes, I, yeah, yeah, I did. yes. Thank you for the super chat. Yeah, that's what that song is from. The Night Call song. I always think this outfit looks... Like veterinary scrubs. <laughs> this life is making me think there's going to be a condo on fire in Lachine tonight. That is not even funny. And for her to overreact to that only speaks to the fact that she's so into herself and is so very much enjoying all the lies that she's telling her idiot bees. She just laughs at them. I can't believe it. They're so stupid. You keep lying to them. They keep giving you money. It's like... Every month, thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars showing up in the bank account for doing what? Lying to a bunch of stupid people over and over again. Yeah, as if. As, as if she's going to burn down a town. As if she even cares. Those people are our business partners. <clears throat> you guys. I wouldn't do that. Sing it while doing Tree Lady Face? <laughs> if Chantel were 12 years old and part of a group of four 12-year-old friends, and she was doing that all the time, eventually the other three 12-year-olds would tell her, Would you please knock that fucking shit off? I'm going to talk you. I'm going to talk you. It's hard to explain. For both myself and you, the viewer of this reaction channel with which we both with the reactions and with your comments criticize this piece of crap we do not find this funny it's just sad that that it's someone who is 38 years of age and who regularly uses the r word and says that the people who are developmentally handicapped don't have a problem with the r word carries on with mocking the developmentally handicapped uh, I, like, maybe, like, ooh, one time, and then she said, sorry, I was drunk, I didn't know I was drunk. She just keeps doing it. This is not advertiser-friendly material that she does. Uh, it just, w what is it doing on this platform, really? You guys know that sometimes I like to take 
bits of footage and running frontwards, backwards, frontwards, backwards, frontwards, backwards, frontwards. To make a point, I did not mess with that footage. She is mocking the developmentally handicapped with her mean impersonation. Then, she kicks back and, and she's just hysterically laughing. She's totally high and totally disgusting. Oh my god, that was freaking weird. Someone call Lachine PD. <laughs> Do it again? Oh great, here we go. Yes, blame it on them as if it's their fault. With Chantel and, and her audience, you got an idiot with idiots. It's like, oh, well, uh, you made me do it. Oh, no, no, you made me do it. Uh, uh. Tiff, love, you're living your best life. <laughs> Thank you. There's something inside. We can only hope that her viewership numbers continue to fall. They've fallen a considerable amount. Not enough for it to be a crisis. I hope it gets to that point and then it just keeps on going. And she's going to keep doing this. She's going to keep doing this this character over and over. Give it. There's something inside you. Something inside It's hard to explain. I should end the reaction right there. Because there's only about two minutes left of footage to react to. Um... She's going to blow her nose. She's going to say, oh, my allergies are out of control this time of year. You know, Chantel's in crisis again. Uh, I would, you know, end it right here. If not for the fact that she's going to continue to laugh hysterically. Which proves she's high while operating the car. With no regard for the safety of others. And, uh, you know, I, I guess, I, like, I, it's, not, it's not even funny. I mean, uh, what are you going to do, laugh at this? It's not funny. It, it, it's just it, pathetic that something this bad can act this way, lose its channel, and then be welcomed back to do the same stuff again and, and get a lot of money for it. You know, that's why I can't laugh at it. So she's going to blow her nose and make it sound like she's in crisis and... She's going to laugh hysterically. Let's get let's get this over with. I mean, like, I don't mean, like, you know, let's not watch this. It's like, we react, we have a few laughs with it, and we can hope that her viewership will continue to drop. And it, it's not going to, like, turn around, and it's not going to be so easy for her to just, you know, invent uh, a, another fake uh, romantic fight with some clown, and then, it, then she makes all kinds of money again. Let's hope that even... You know, among her stupid audience, there might be a few people who will at least get tired of it. So, here's the rest of it. I need to blow my nose. <clears throat> They're talking about you, boy. But you're still the same. Well, yeah, why wouldn't you be? <laughs> my allergies are so bad at this time of year. Do it more to scare Sabrina. Great value lasagna. <laughs> There's a great value lasagna in here. Thanks for the profile picture. You guys have to stop making me laugh. <clears throat> I have to go right now. Get obsessed with broccolini and grilled chicken. I'll be back, okay? <laughs> No, we can't. Oh my god, Lambo, no. I haven't. The payday loan place has to close at nine. Shh. 
Sugar daddy? Possible? Nah. Don't ever date a man who, an older man who drives a Buick. Okay. I'll be back. We wish she would not. That is how things are at this channel. Like the other channels, they, they treat Chantel like a carnival. And like it's a celebration. And it's all fun. And this is just sad, sad material. And, uh, you know, things like this. I keep saying I want her to drive into a tree. And to have an argument with the tree and have the tree win the argument. Likely, when that time comes, if it does, things like this, they drive over other people. And they have arguments with other people with cars. And things like this are the ones to walk away from it. Please subscribe. You know, I've lost, uh, I think about 100 subscribers lately. I know I haven't been very uh, active. And, um, you know, the other channels that treat this like it's a fun, you know... What do they say? The shit show, and it's like a train wreck. This is a tragic display of immorality. That, that's what it is for me. I mean, we still have fun with it. It's just that I, I'm not looking at this as, as a barrel of laughs. This is just sad material. Sad material. And it, it's just like a, a, an example that things are not fair, you know? So if you're with me in that feeling, please subscribe. Give it a like. And, uh, yeah, th 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 well, thanks very much for coming by. <laughs> it's just exhausting. It's exhausting going through this material. I hope I'm doing some good, you know. Maybe when she screws up again, YouTube will get rid of her channel permanently. We can hope so.